propelled. Birds propel. Eagles don't propel. We said, look out, 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 look out. Cut. Let's re yeah, redo that. Mm. We propelled. Birds propel. Eagles don't propel. We said, hook up, hook up, hook up. We propel. The birds propel. Eagles don't propel. Nigel, can I get an amen? Amen, brother. Amen. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to a brand new bowl of parsnip porridge. My name is Leon Lush, and it is just such a delight, can I say, to have you here for just a few minutes today. Now, I have to apologize. I'm already sweating a little bit, uh, and that's because that brief intro you just saw took me, really, in reality, 20 minutes to record because every time I tried to do it, I, I couldn't keep it together. I just, with the, the fucking... Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. <laughs> So I'm going to talk about the dudes from the title in the thumbnail of this video in just a second, but today's video is, is essentially about televangelists. Now, I've made a video once before on a televangelist named Peter Popoff, who's been around for decades, right? And I'll link that video up here if you want to watch it. I think it's pretty funny. Command divine strength to flow oh. through her body. Oh, get out the chair, baby. In Jesus name, stand up. Get out the chair, stand up, in Jesus' name. You're not going to walk, are you not going to walk? You ain't walking. No, you are not. You are not one. You're running with the chair. I basically just talk about this guy and shine a little light onto his life and how he spent the better part of four to five decades just scamming and manipulating the poor and the ignorant and the downtrodden out of their hard-earned dollars uh, so he can live like a king. He's been exposed multiple times, but still to this day is making millions of dollars through this mail order religious ministry, which by the way, since it's a religious ministry, has acted as kind of a disguise for this entire scam, and he's not only tax exempt, uh, but also just lives consequence free driving around $500,000 cars and living in a mansion. Now some of you might be thinking to yourself, oh Leon, these televangelists are old news, man. They've been exposed a hundred million times. They've been around forever. Everybody knows they're frauds. They've been on like 50 Dateline NBC specials showing that they're just stealing these people's money to buy themselves jets. We all know this shit. And I have two responses to that. Firstly, even if that's true, they're still funny as hell. <laughs> now, what's the pain? Right here in the back. Bend down. Hold this. Where? There it's gone completely. Nigel, where is the pain? Right here in my face. Where? I can't feel my legs. Praise the Lord. God said he chose the foolish things of this world to confound the wise. Do you know if you're an intellectual, you'll probably end up in hell for it? <laughs> you know, three years ago, I was one of the... <laughs> What, bro? Yay, saith the Lord. Yay, come out of him, you foul devil. Yay, come out of him, you foul devil. I mean, you just could not draw this up any better if it was supposed to be a comedy skit. But, but it's not. Now, comedy aside, the second thing I would say is that, sure, you and I may know that these guys are frauds. I mean, shit, almost every big televangelist has been exposed as being some sort of scam artist that's essentially just manipulating and taking advantage of those with faith in order to live extraordinarily lavish lifestyles themselves. Uh, but guess what? These guys are still cleaning fucking house in 2018, raking in millions in millions of dollars through these ministries. And uh, it just leaves me... perplexed. Because that means that there's hundreds of thousands of people all over this country, mostly in the South, <laughs> that are still sending these guys money month after month thinking that they're somehow going to miraculously be cured of cancer or have some divine intervention come down and absolve them of their financial debts. Meanwhile, these prosperity gospel fat cats are going full-blown Scrooge McDuck just doing snow angels in hundred dollar bills flying around the country in their private jet to all their million dollar homes sitting on all their fucking private beaches sipping Mai Tais. Well, Nancy from Tallahassee, who's 43 and suffering from ovarian cancer, instead of seeking medical help, sends her last dollar to one of these pricks because she thinks she's going to be fucking healed. Anyway, Let's watch two of these rich pieces of shit talk about why they so desperately need a private jet. Had a glorious meeting. So I was, for lack of a better way to say it, 
I was spiritually high. I said, people yeah. were saved, yeah. touched, and blessed. Got in the plane that God so graciously gave us. Whew, hallelujah and praise be. I, it is a relief, to be honest, that God is graciously giving away planes. Because I thought for sure it's because you were scamming desperate people out of millions of dollars. But that is, if he's giving away planes and shit, I'll take one too. As I was going home, the Lord, real quickly, he said, Jesse, do you like your plane? Now, you know, I thought that's an odd statement. Uh... I don't understand what's so odd about that. <laughs> I mean, if I had a nickel for every time the Lord asked me about my plane, I could at least buy a gumball at the mall. At least five times that's happened to me on my private jet. <laughs> I said, Lord, I don't think I was letting my faith stagnate. So if you had the book of Amos, I want to read may, the scripture. May I interrupt right you yes, sir. for a second? Mm -hmm. You couldn't have done that on an airliner. No, sir. No way. Stand up and say, what'd you say, Lord? No. Okay, no, yeah. Now, both of these guys are obviously rich as shit, but I do know that this guy on the left, Kenneth Copeland, is one of the wealthiest televangelists in America with an estimated worth of ballpark $800 million. No, sir. No way. Stand up and say, what'd you say, Lord? No. Okay, no, yeah. And the guy sitting over there saying, what the hell does he think he's doing? <laughs> you can't do you that. You can't do that. No, no. I mean, yeah, we already all know that, okay? You can't talk to God on an airliner. You better be flying private. I mean, he has a refined taste. So unless you got that Boeing up in the sky and you're solo, you're not getting a, hey, what's up from Jesus. The world is in such a shape. We can't get there without this. That's right. We've got to have this. Listen, I know it sounds crazy. I know it sounds a little, a little out there, but the world is in such a shape. And I believe that shape is flat that we can't get there without these private jets. Mess that the airlines are in today, I would have to stop. I'm being very conservative at least 75 to 80, more like 90% of what we're doing, because you can't get there and from here. It's impossible. Now, in all honesty, though, <laughs> I have nothing against private jets. I have nothing against people being filthy rich. I believe in capitalism. Uh, the problem uh, is introduced when you've made your wealth uh, because you're a fraud and all of that money has come at the expense of gullible people. You, you can't manage that today. Right. The, this dope-filled world. Right. And get in, an air, get in a long tube with a bunch of demons. Right. I'm sorry, Ken. I must have misunderstood. Uh, a what? A long tube with a bunch of demons. Right. I don't know if I follow what he's talking. A long tube filled. Oh, you mean an airplane filled with normal people. <laughs> Fucking Ken. Ken, you got me, you son of a bitch. A long tube filled with demons. <laughs> and it, it's deadly. Deadly is an understatement. How do you expect to talk to God in this dope-filled world if you're toting around the country in a long tube filled with demons? Impossible. Fortunately, um, you scammed Janice out of her cancer treatment money along with thousands of other people, uh, and you're able to afford this private jet. By the way, Janice is dead now, so hallelujah. Praise the Lord. A long tube filled with hookah, 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 hookah. demons. So I, anyway, I, I wanted to make that clear so the devil can't lie to you and say, see there, them preachers spending all that money, just, just fat cats riding around. No, we're not. We're in business. Do Listen. Well, Ken, I'm glad you cleared that up, quite honestly, because I was this close to letting the devil convince me that you're just a piece of shit. But if you need it, you need it, I guess. Listen, I could scratch my flying itch. I could scratch my flying itch. I could smack my side, bitch. I could watch Lee Low and Stitch. I could eat this sandwich. With my little single engine open cockpit airplane. Right. I just come home, fly around in that, and scratch my flying itch. That doesn't have nothing to do with that. But right. we're in we're in we're in soul business here. Right. See, he doesn't need a private jet to scratch his flying itch. He could just fly his other planes that he also bought with poor people's money. But the jet is just because that's to talk to God and fly across the country. We are, we're in a dying nation here, folks. We, we got a dying world around us. Just we got a dying nation around us. That's right. And we can't even get there on the airline. And you, ca you can't. You just cannot get there on an airline in a dying nation. Fire up that motherfucking bow. I brought him that schedule. I said, can you fly this? He said, no, and I wouldn't. If <laughs> How, when do you sleep? We're about the On the airplane. On the airplane. It's the only way I can grab it, see. Yeah. Oh, well, if you just told me from the beginning that you needed a private jet to sleep, I wouldn't have came at you so hard. Now I kind of feel bad. 
I mean, everybody know I need a fan to fall asleep. I need the white noise. Some people need a dark room with the blackout curtains to fall asleep. Heavier people might need a CPAP machine to fall asleep. These guys just need a private jet to fall asleep. Everybody has their thing. He said this, you're on control, cruise control. You're moving, but no longer by your power. Pshh. See? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's what the DVD is about. That's what that yeah, DVD yeah, is about. Yeah, he I said, you're moving, but no it, longer by your I power. See it. You see, you're just doing this. Oh, that's what the DVD's about. You see, if you feel like you're moving, but no longer by your power, just buy my DVD for $29.99 so I can buy another private jet. A long tube with a bunch of demons. Right. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I, for one, am convinced. I mean, for the sake of these two gentlemen's holy crusade, let them sleep on the private jet. Is it so much to ask? I imagine that the comment section probably agrees with me. I got bills, I gotta pay, so I'm gonna work, work, work every day. The ironic thing about them is if God does exist, they are most certainly going to burn. Lots of lettuce. These guys are much worse and dangerous than con men. They're predators akin to dope peddlers or child molesters. They prey upon vulnerable people, especially elderly or poor people with their seed prosperity BS, under the guise of Christianity just to satisfy their own personal gratification. Think of how many innocent lives these two predators have destroyed by ripping off hundreds if not thousands of people of their life savings. Truly evil monsters. Whew. Yikes. Worst Kickstarter ever. <laughs> you know what? If we're lucky, maybe we'll see this in a future comeback episode of iDub's Kickstarter crap. Looks like Giggity Giggity here wrote a little prayer in the comment section. I thought it might be prudent to, to pray along with him. Lord Jesus, please allow these men to find their way off a tall cliff and speak to them, Lord, on their way to hell and remind them of all the money they swindled out of hard-working taxpayers. Amen. Finally, Rob Hayes says, for the record, most of us Christians agree with all of you atheists that televangelists are lying hacks. And that's interesting to me because it's nice to see that Christians and atheists alike can agree that televangelists are absolute losers. <laughs> oh man, I could go on for hours about these guys. Um, I don't want you to misconstrue this as a shot at religion. Uh, I have a very religious background and family, and, and that's not what this is. But these televangelists, specifically these mega church guys from the South that are just scamming hundreds of thousands of people, uh, it's just a bad look. And it's, uh, it's amazing to me. The reason I made this video is because I'm so perplexed. I'm amazed that people can't see through this. Like, so many people do, but there's still a massive portion, a huge portion of this country, mostly in the South, that can't fucking figure this out or something what <laughs> what's the deal anyways thank you guys so much for watching i do appreciate having you here i don't take for granted that you're giving up some of your time to watch a video that i uploaded and i do appreciate that uh just go ahead and leave a comment down below if you could i'd really appreciate that let me know what you think about these two upstanding gentlemen consider buying some merch if you're part of the tomato mafia and want to support the channel you can also become a channel member by hitting that join button down below and you get a couple of cool perks before you go, last thing I'll ask of you, if you could just do a real quick hook up, hook up, hook up, hook up. and then hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me. Oh, I promise you it feels good. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Yeah. Peace.